Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, and can you tell where I am? I'm at school. On Wednesdays, I go to school so that I can clean up the classroom and make new materials and check on the plants. I don't have to check on the animals because remember, I have Ruby and Chester at home with me but I have to come and check on other things. So today I'm reading you your story from school. Can you see the dollhouse behind me and the picture of the girl with the swing and some books and I see our writing paper over there. I see our amaryllis way over here, but the flowers have died. So I will clean that up today. All right, are you ready? We're going to sing the continent song after we sing our good morning song. Way up in the sky, the little birds fly. Way down in the nest, the little birds rest. With the wing on the left and the wing on the right, they snuggle down deep all through the night. Shh. Then the bright sun comes up and the dew falls away. Good morning, good morning, the little birds say. Good morning, everybody. And before we sing the continent song, I'm going to go get the map. Are you ready? Let me go get it. Here it is. Ready? These are the continents of our world. Tell me what they are. North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa. Don't forget Antarctica. And don't forget Australia. And here's the other part of Antarctica. And here is another little part of Asia. So you can sing this song again and you can try to remember what color are all those different continents. All right. Today is a very special day. Today is April 22nd. And that means that it's Earth Day where we celebrate the earth. So today's story is called, Here We Are. And I am ready to read this book to you. Here We Are by Oliver Jeffries. Oh, I'm sorry, I pronounced that wrong, Jeffers. By Oliver Jeffers. I'm gonna move a little bit closer to the camera. Look at this. This is our solar system. One of trillion solar systems. Here's the sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. And here's Pluto way out here, but Pluto is not a planet anymore. Pluto is called a dwarf planet. Let's take a look. Well, hello. Welcome to this planet. We call it Earth. It's the big globe floating in space on which we live. We are glad you found us, as space is very big. There is much to see and do here on Earth, so let's get started with a quick tour. The planet is basically made up of two parts, land and sea. The land is rock and dirt, and the sea is water. Firstly, let's talk about the land. It's what we're standing on right now. We know lots about the land. 
Then there's the sea, which is full of wonderful things. We know a bit about the sea, but we'll talk some more about that once you've learned how to swim. Though I know some of you do know how to swim. There is also the sky, though, though that can get pretty complicated. Here's all the different parts of the sky. I see the Milky Way. These are called constellations. We spin around the sun and the moon spins around us. And then there's outer space and the air we breathe and the stratosphere. And here is the rain and the land and the sea. I see some rain here. On our planet, there are people. One people is a person. You are a person. You have a body. You have a head, arms, a belly, legs. You have a brain inside your head, a heart to pump your blood, lungs for breathing air, and bones to hold it all together. Look after it, as most bits don't grow back except for fingernails and hair. That does grow back. The most important thing for people to do and to remember are to eat, drink, and stay warm. People come in many shapes and sizes. We may all look different, act different, and sound different, but don't be fooled, we are all people. Look at all the different kinds of people. Oh my goodness. There are animals too. They come in even more shapes, sizes, and colors. They can't speak, though that's no reason not to be nice to them. Look at all the animals. And that's not even all the animals that there are. There are so many animals. You may not be able to speak yet either, even though your head is filled with questions. Be patient, you'll learn how to use words soon enough. Generally how it works is that when the sun is out, it's daytime and we do stuff. The rest of the time is night when it's dark, save for the moon, and we sleep. Please? Things can sometimes move slowly here on Earth. More often though, they move quickly, so use your time well. It will be gone before you know it. Though we've come a long way, we haven't quite worked everything out, so there's plenty left for you to do. You will figure lots of things out for yourself. Just remember to leave notes for everyone else. It looks big, Earth, but there are lots of us on here. 7,327,450,667 and still counting. So be kind. There is enough for everyone. Well, that's planet Earth. Make sure you look after it. It's all we've got. Now, if you need to know anything else, just ask. I won't be far away. And when I'm not around, you can always ask someone else. You're never alone on Earth. The end. But um, bum. I hope that you liked today's Earth story. Maybe you could go outside and you could look at the Earth. You could look at all different kinds of flowers that are blooming right now. You could look at all the different shapes of leaves that there are on the trees and plants. There are lots of things that you could do. You could clean up your backyard 
If you have a backyard, you could do some weeding. Those are all things that you can do to make our earth a much nicer place. I know that you'll do your best. All right, I will talk to you later. Bye.